Erwin Hauer uh, was a instructor I had. He was he was 30 years uh, uh, the head of the art department at uh, Yale, and he he taught me some classes, and I was so impressed with it. One of the things he worked on was the fourth dimension, and the fourth dimension is time. Rodin, in his famous book on art, uh, met, talks about time a lot. When um, he mentioned time in a, an example of medieval paintings, a lot of those people used time, where the right side of the painting would represent a beginning of one sequence of time, and it would go across the painting to the other side, would be uh, a, another period in time. And when he was sculpting a head, he would show uh, that uh, the eyes would, right at the last instant, the eyes would change so that he was showing a, a time a time sequence in the eyes themselves. And so the, the piece itself, even when he did his figures, he tried to, to show time. For instance, the, here's a good example, the best example of Rodin would be the walking man where both feet are flat on the ground. Well, you can't walk that way, but he was showing that that was when you put your foot down and when you're walking, you actually have moved into the next instant of time. I've tried to use time in my thinking. For instance, I do a lot, a lot of drawing and the maximum time I ever give uh, for a drawing is 20 minutes. Well, and when I do sculptures, I try to stop uh, while they're still alive. If you go too, far, too much further, all of a sudden they're dead. And that's when you try to smooth them up and make them, jazz them up, they're, they've died. I'm doing what I call a four-sided bas-relief on the sculptures. In other words, each side would be like a bas-relief. See how flat everything is? Look at the breasts, how flat. They're almost like drawings. Uh, each thing is almost like a drawing. When you put those together, you get this weird-looking abstraction, which is kind of fun, I think. When you're really into what you're doing, you get lost. You're at a point where you don't even know what happened. It just happens. But that's, that's what I'm talking about, the speed of it. When you, once you lose that, you are um, making it up or you're laboring the point. That's why you want to quit the sculptures early while they're still alive. <laughs> 